All right, man, let's go. So me and Ricky are gonna take this wasp nest head on, man. We're gonna use one can of pyrethrin with a straw to soak it down, and another wide fog so when they're flying off, they don't nail me and Ricky. I'm going to use an aerosol pyrethrin, which is oil extracted from the crushed flowers of chrysanthemum plants. It's safe for pets and humans, but it attacks the wasps and their nervous system and kills them dead. Golly, this is high. The wasp have built their nest so far off the ground, the only way to get to them is with a cherry picker. And I'm not gonna lie, I hate heights. Wow, dude, that is a long way down. Well, we're gonna have to get a little closer, unfortunately. Man, that thing is so packed with wasps. We're really close to this wasp nest. They got a wasp hotel here on the hotel. There must be hundreds of wasps in this nest. And if they decide to swarm, Ricky and I have nowhere to go but 60 feet straight down. Usually when we do a wasp nest, we try to stay out of the flight path. Mm -hmm. We can't stay out of the flight path. No way. Three, two, one, blast. Oh, yeah, buddies, how about that? <laughs> wow. They're just free falling, man. 60 Holy feet to their death, dude. The wasp nest absolutely exploded. It was raining wasp. It's a bright day here at the inn. There's free breakfast down below, about 60 feet. <laughs> All right, dude, we got this one knocked out. Let's uh, drive the cherry picker over to that flat roof over there. Let's right. get up there and knock that other one out. All right. At this point, we're setting up for the second nest over by the swimming pool. We're coming at it from the backside, though. This cherry picker is way too big and heavy to get into the pool area. They ain't even going to know we're coming, dude. Nope. Ooh. Well, they're already one. They're already on us, dude. Look at them. As soon as we approach the nest, we can hear the buzzing, man. Those wasps are just waiting for us, vicious and ready to attack. All right. I'm ready when you are. Three, two, one, blast! We're eradicating a monster wasp nest over a hotel pool. It looks like we've got these wasps on the run when I have a technical malfunction. My can went down, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My two aerosol cans were malfunctioning. It was just spitting out, so Ricky was relying on me to hold up my end, and I wasn't holding my end up. <laughs> it was like Matrix, wasn't it, dude? It, it really was. Dude, we're like Ow. dodging them, man, shooting them out of the air, smacking them. I know it. It was, it was truly crazy. It. Wow, man, they are everywhere. I know, are we've exploded me? them, dude. Look, Look at this. At the pool, they'd be They're cold. everywhere. Even though we're down a couple of cans of pyrethrin, these wasps are no match for Vexcon. Good one, dude. Man, I saw you with those two aerosol cans, popping them like a freaking gun right out of the air. We're talking little bitty freaking wasps. I know it. I'm... And you were popping them out of the air, dude. I know. I'm bringing hardcore to some wasps. I don't play because they don't play. I think that's it. Did we get them? I think we did. All right, now we knock that thing down. Good job, dude. That we didn't get some... stung. Perfect day. That's it, man. <laughs> now, wasps are scattered all over the place, all over the roof, all over the pool, all over the parking lot. There are dead wasps everywhere. All right, man, that's it. We're done. All right. All right. Wasp-free. Wasp-free. Let's get out of here. You boys, come on in. I'm Carrie Bradshaw in Shreveport, Louisiana. I have a very bad wasp problem. It's really been terrorizing us for about seven or eight years. We're glad y'all are here. We got a Appreciate wasp you. problem, and we Appreciate understand that you know what to do with it. Yes, ma'am, I do. My office said that they've been chasing you around the property. They have. We've mm. had people out, yeah. and they'll kill a few wasps. That's all. It really worries me that the Bradshaws have been fighting this wasp problem for almost eight years. The elderly are at a much higher risk of severe reactions and complications from stings, making this situation even more dangerous. These red wasps are seasonal. 
you uh, will get them for one year and then the nest will die off and you have brand new ones build up. Uh, there's some pheromone left behind by the old nest, yeah. which is the way that uh, wasp communicates. So yeah. they know that this is a safe zone to set a new nest up in a new season. Pheromones are chemical signals that the wasp leave behind for other wasps. It's like they're putting out a welcome mat. In each season, new wasps set up bigger and bigger nests in the voids and the gaps of the Bradshaw's home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that cycle for you this year. We're gonna go ahead and treat the ones that are currently infesting the home, and then we're gonna go back with some expansion foam and build those voids and gaps up where they keep flying in. So next year, you won't have this oh, cycle that repeat. Great, Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, thank you. I've seen where these wasps have set up house, and now it's time to hand them their eviction notice. But we've got to be careful on how we approach these insects, since Ricky's wasp allergy can get him in trouble fast. You cannot afford a sting from one of these mahogany wasps. You take Absolutely. one, it's an instant trip to the ER. All right, man, let's get to work. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna knock these wasps out. When I knock them down, hit it with the expansion foam, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay. We're going to annihilate the red wasp using a special Vexcon treatment called pyrethrin. Pyrethrin is oil extracted from the natural flowers of chrysanthemum plants. They shut down the central nervous system of the wasps, and then they die. Hello, boys. Oh, you're hating it. How bad is that, huh? Anybody home? Vexcon's a knocking. Jump out, boys. Ooh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hello! <laughs> what do you think about that, boys? The problem with evicting pests is that they're not always willing to go quietly, and these wasps are not about to go without a fight. Oh, stinging me in the hand's not gonna help your cause, buddy. You got some issues, man. Billy, man, dude, dude. What? One on your leg. Get it off! When wasp attack, they'll sting you over and over again. Even worse, if you kill a wasp, it releases a pheromone that alerts other wasps that they're in danger, and then all of them come looking for you. Oh, man! Watch out, Rick, they're real aggressive. I had two come right at me. These wasps are far more aggressive than I had imagined. But now that the pyrethrin fog has killed the wasp, we'll fill the holes with expansion foam. That way, if a new swarm tries to move in with the Brad shawls, all they're gonna find is a big no vacancy sign. This is the gap where the wasps are flying out of every year. Once I get this expansion foam into the hole, that's it, man. No home for the wasp. All right, man, that'll do it. With our work done, we headed up to let the Brad shawls know that their house is now a wasp-free zone. Well, I'm really glad you guys called. You had some issues that were pretty dangerous. The next two or three days, you're gonna see a few of them bouncing around here and there around the corners, but if you watch, they will not be going into the house. This has been great. I yeah. can invite somebody over and not have the fear of them That's getting stung. Thank you for coming. You're very welcome. I do want to say thank you again, and again and again to Ricky and Billy. Y'all sure. take care. All okay. right. This was a good day. We've given the Bradshaws some peace of mind. They can finally be comfortable in their own home, free from danger. All right. I'm here. Oh, hey, Sarah, how's it going? Good, how's it going? We were expecting Billy to come out here and exterminate the wasp, but my mom came out here, too. Looked like she was going to fall and break a heel. All right, you ready to hear what nightmares I have in store for us both? <laughs> OK, what? So usually what me and Ricky do when it gets this hot is uh, one person will kill the wasp and applicate the pesticide, and the second person will sit back at just a safe distance. So if I mess up and I start getting attacked, I need you to spray me down with that stuff if okay. it happens. Also, don't get stung yourself. Oh, I'll do the best I can. I'm All scared. Right. You think you're up for this, or are you a little nervous? Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Anytime I'm on a wasp job, I want somebody watching my back. But I'm nervous about Sarah, because mahogany wasps can get angry if they detect increased heart rate or nerves. I hope Sarah's not too nervous. All righty. Now, this is your job here. Sarah is backing me up with a spray made of eugenol oils, which are trees' natural defense against insects. It literally saps them of all their energy until they die. Some duct tape. 
my pole. You got my back with the Eugena oils. I'm going to use an aerosol pyrethrin, which is oil extracted from the crushed flowers of chrysanthemum plants. It's safe for pets and humans, but it attacks the wasps and their nervous system and kills them dead. Alrighty, All right. here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Stand right here in the shade, kind of up against the house like this, okay? Okay. For my first job in the field, wasps, what was she thinking? And uh, watch for your own safety. If things start getting hot or heavy over here, you can go ahead and leave. Run that direction behind us. Don't go that way. That way's bad, okay? okay. All right, here All we go. Ready, here we go. If just one of these wasps were to sting Sarah or myself, they would leave a pheromone signal behind to alert all the other wasps, and they'll all come after us. Woo, they're already coming. Look at that. Woo! Come on out, girls. Knock, knock. Vexcon's here. Oh, oh wow. Oh, get me, get me. All right. Oh, my God. Well, they're coming out everywhere now. It's a party, and we're all invited. Woo! Keep it coming. Oh, got one of them on. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Got a secondary nest up here I didn't know about. Whoa. Hey, look at them. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, boys. Man, there were hundreds of wasps in there. Sarah and I were spraying and stirring these wasps up, and her niece picked the wrong time to check out what was going on. Hey, there's one in here. There's one in here. Okay. Get back in, get sweetie. Get back, get back, oh. back in, oh. sweetie. Get back inside, It's too yeah. dangerous. Whoa. You OK? <laughs> Whew, that was close. <sighs> oh. Nobody's getting stung today. <laughs> Nobody's getting stung today. These things are big, red, and mean. You hadn't been stung yet? No. Oh, come on, Sarah. Keep us wet. Keep us wet, Sarah. <laughs> come on, boys. Billy was in there taking down these huge nests with hundreds of wasps flying everywhere, and I was just spraying every one of them coming down. With all the holes from the house renovation, it's easy for the wasp to get inside. And once they do, it's a real drag to get them out. All right, I guess we got them. All right, Sarah, good job. Oh I'm proud God. of you. I can't believe it. Good job. I definitely earned my paycheck today. <laughs> See, this is what we deal with in the field, man. 100 degrees, wasps flying all over the place. You know, Sarah really surprised me out here. She did really good, man. She had a can of that Vexcon spray, and any time a wasp even began to move, she nailed them. She was stomping them, anything to kill them. You know, there could be a route for her in the future. However, I think she'd be happier in the uh, office, so we'll just leave her there. We just finished up the treatment. This infestation was really bad, so I am glad you guys called. Thanks. That wasp was scary when it came after me. Oh, I know. I thought you were going to get stung, <laughs> sweetheart. I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, me too. I didn't mean to yell at you when you came out, but I had bees everywhere, <laughs> wasp everywhere, and then you come out, and I'm like, no, get in the house. So I didn't mean to yell at you. It's just it's that okay. I had so many wasps there. I didn't want you to get hurt. I understand. The house is now eradicated of all wasps. And once the house is renovated and the holes will be plugged up, that'll keep these guys out of here for good. Well, we really thank you a lot. Oh, you guys are very welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead back to work. She's got things to do. I got things to do. So we're going to head on out. If you all see any more problems, just uh, let Miss Sarah here know, and I'll be back out. Okay, bye. Bye, ladies. Y'all take care. Thank you so much. Bye, bye. Bye. I'm finally able to grab the gator, and instantly he starts freaking out. He is not happy about being drug out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy.